Hey everybody, this is a very simple video. No thumbnail, this is all you get. Except you get me in the camera, hi. So I wanted to show something that I've been working on for the last couple days. I know that, um, hey, it's kind of funny you get to watch me hold my camera while I film with my camera. That's cool, that's different. So um, I thought it'd be a little more interactive. Anyway, to start to the point. So. I've been working on something for the last couple days. When I launched uh, Cloud CPM, I created a GUI called Cloud GUI, which as you can see here. And this was done, oh gosh, I guess it's like two years ago. So the other day, uh, three days ago, I was thinking, you know what, I did promise at one point that I was gonna turn this into the CCP for, for uh, CPM, for the Cloud CPM for the NABU. And that's what I did. So let me just, uh, here, I'll just do a complete restart here. I'm running this on the uh, in MAME, so forgive me for not using real hardware. So when it goes to boot up this time, now you're going to see up in the menu in the top, on the menu in the uh, boot screen here. Come on. There we go. Um, cloud GUI CPM, and you can see this flashing GUI in the corner. So normally you would see CPM and the A drive flashing, so GUI is when it's reloading the GUI. So here, let me just close down this session that I have here. Oop, let me select this window and close that down. Okay, so you'll start off with a clean session. Um, you're not gonna have anything on your workspace. So you have the ability to do uh, file management. So you can go into a new file and then you can choose your drive. So for example, I'll just choose the A drive and use the joystick to control the mouse or you can use your arrow keys to select and then the, the first letter of each of these, I should make these highlighted so you'll know, but F will bring down the file menu. So I hit F, bring the file menu down and you have shortcuts there. So let's go say we wanna run a program. Um, so let's just run something, actually kinda of neat, we'll run something graphical. So we'll run the tutorial because that runs into, a, into a graphics here. So we'll go file, exec, and then it's gonna save our session. So everything that's configured is saved and then it's launching tutorial. So you can see that it's doing the usual RA in the corner there. And then here our application launched. We can go through our little tutorial and learn about CPM. So now I'll hit Q and go back. And then you'll see it's, it's loading the GUI. And it, you can see here that you got to see what was left over in the text mode. So this is actually kind of neat. So let me show you this. If, um, if I go and run a text program, so let's run something like, uh, What's a text program that we can run here? Maybe, oh, like help. Where is help? There it is. So we'll run the help program. I'll hit file and I'll hit E for execute. I'm not gonna use the mouse, just using the shortcuts. And there you go, so the help's gonna load and then it's gonna go back into the GUI, right? Because the program just loaded. So what, what I thought was, if you do run a program where you wanna actually see the screen, under the file menu, there is a view con, the letter C shortcut. So that's view console. So if you hit that, then it's gonna bring you into the console mode and allow you to view your console. So this is exactly, exactly that. And we can scroll through our 80 columns back and forth. And that way, if you miss something on an exit of a program, you can go back into the text mode and view the last text that was there. Then you just hit space and you'll see your GUI is reloading and it comes back. So all of your session data is, is uh, saved between sessions. So for example, if I load up another window here, let's say load up, um, let's load up the second drive here, our user area one, because this is where I have a lot of my stuff. And then for fun, we can also load up another window here. We'll load up the IA. So this is the storage folder on your internet adapter. So this is actually your computer. This is your computer's drive. And as you can see here, we got cloudgui.com, the program we're running, a few other things that are in that drive. So your drive will probably be the same location as mine, but that's what we were seeing. We're seeing the files that are in your store folder in there. So if I created a new file in here and I called it just that I should now be able to go back into here and then select my IA folder go to file and hit refresh and there's our file that we just created so obviously I can't execute this file 
because only actually only old local files can execute so you have to copy that file locally you can't run it if it's on over the over the uh but you know what i can make that happen yeah i could do that okay this is dj from the future i just finished playing a high score in doctor who because i was celebrating because guess what as i was just saying i thought Maybe I could make it so that we can launch applications from the .com. Well, it's a few hours later in the same night. So here I have a com file on the internet adapter. So it's on my local Windows computer in this folder. And just to show you, I'll close this window here. And then I'll open a new window. And I'll select the internet adapter. So that's the folder on my computer, as you can see. And then we'll go through and then file, execute. So it's loading, opening the file, and then it's loading the RAM in the file and, and onto the NABU from the internet after, and there's our application. Yes, it does. So that's really great. And then if I exit, even though I, load, I loaded this from the internet adapter drive from a drive in Windows, this actually loaded from Windows onto the NABU and I can run it. Oh, this is just awesome. <laughs> I love it. Back to your regular scheduled program. Also, if I grab a file right now, like a TXT file, and I try running it, it's gonna say unknown file type. Um, that's because I don't, it wants a com file. So I haven't created, it, it'll do extensions right now, but I need an extension editor. So you can actually specify programs you want to launch on different in different extension files, just like with Windows. And things like TXT and stuff, I wanna make, it, uh, make a, a viewer internally as well, because these windows, I made it more like an operating system so that you can actually develop stuff inside of it. Um, there's also a few other things I threw into Cloud CPM as well, like uh, into the BIOS. There's paging now, so I can page up to one megabyte of data between the NABU and um, the PC. So it's actually kind of funny. So we can, I'll, I'll do another video on it. Okay, you'll see it later, but it's gonna allow, the idea is I wanna do task switching. So I want you to be able to run a program in here and then use a shortcut key on your keyboard and then be able to switch between tasks. Okay, and it'll just save all of your session state to the internet adapter in the BIOS and then reload it and bring back in. So in NABU C Cloud CPM, you'll be able to switch between applications. Um, anyway, so let's launch a, like a graphic program here. So let's load up, uh, like example, Brick Battle. So actually, you know what? I want to do game five. Game five is my favorite. So we're gonna game five, file, execute. And then you can see it's loading RA, reading the, and here we are. So a lot of applications um, for CPM, you can exit, right? Like M80 and Plan and uh, Microsoft Basic, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to make it so that it would always go back into that environment without having to reboot. And it doesn't even bring you back into Headless either. It brings you back into um, cloud GUI. So if I exit this game, see, it's gonna reload, reinitialize everything. I still have our, our text is still saved, so we can still look back on uh, text mode if we wanted to, and we restore our session and we're back in. So I can go and I can like F here for uh, viewing the console. And we can view our console and you can see here, this was the actual text that was left over to, on the console from um, launching Game Man Yeah, which is called Game 5 <laughs> that I created. So anyway, that's that's about it for right now. I haven't published this yet for anyone. Um, I still have to do a little more testing, but I think that I think that's pretty fun. I think that you guys can enjoy it. And you know, there there is the ability, I think as well, to turn this and replace the headless and everything with this. So that's kind of something that I'm exploring, um, but it'll be neat if I if I ended up doing that, but we'll see. I don't have that much time <laughs> to spend on that, especially since summer's on its way. Anyway, take care. It was nice seeing you all. And I apologize for, again, a very unedited raw video, but I just wanted to show everyone. Um, oh, also, I don't know if you saw this before, last thing.
you can do cascading windows, tiled windows. So you can also, uh, I don't know if I showed you this, you can grab, grab a window, move it around, All right? Just like you would expect for windows. <laughs> windows, windows, windows on an Abu. Okay, anyway, <laughs> take care everybody, bye-bye.